Lucas here, Oscar winning actress Lupita Nyong'o. She stars in the new movie, it's called The Queen of Katwe. It's based on a true story about a chess prodigy overcoming all the odds. Lupita plays her fiercely protective mother. Here's a clip. Are you the mother or the sister? For you, I'm not either. And I know a hyena when I see it. You keep away from my daughter. Oh, wait. Stop it, mommy. If I see you sniffing around here again, I will burn this pile of tin to scrap. So passionate. Is it true that just a few pages into the script, you broke down, you knew you had to do this film? Yes, it is. Because, uh, I mean, on the pages I found interesting, real, c complex, layered, inspiring characters. And I could tell that in less than 10 pages. And I just knew I had to be a part of this film. And, and, then, and then once you did it, how was the experience? I was, I was right. I was you right. right. I mean, I, it, it, it was such a rewarding labor of love to do this film, to get to tell this true, inspiring story in Uganda, in East Africa, where I'm from, and to do it with Mira Nair, a woman of color who has lived there for over 20 years, who knows the place and really told the story from inside out. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. job. I cannot wait to see it. The passion just comes out on screen and, and in everything you do. But we haven't seen your beautiful face in a little while. We've heard her. <laughs> We've heard her. But why? work you've been up to? Well, I did the CGI character Maz Kanata in Star Wars. Which is and bad. Thank you. And then I played uh, Raksha, the voice of the Mowgli's wolf mother. <laughs> and uh, both of those were really rewarding in their own way. And I'm just so happy to come back to live action with this film. Yes. Something that means so much to me and something that I know is a new image of Africa on screen with a studio as big as, as Disney. Yep. You know, we really get a positive and inspiring story here. And Absolutely. It's a universal story. Exactly. About a little girl with a big dream that achieves it. Yes. And uh, so I, I'm, I'm very, very proud of this film. A little girl with a big dream that achieved it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. uh, you've got Testament. so much else going on. I just want to brag a little bit. Uh, tell me about your Broadway experience. Congratulations on your Tony nomination. Thank you. I mean, that was a fully immersive experience being on Broadway for so long and having to do the same thing every day. I mean, it was so inspiring. And I worked with such a gr great group of women. And uh, to have uh, taken that African story from a completely other side of the continent um, and brought it to New York, that was, that was really amazing. The play was called Eclipse. You also have an African novel that you're bringing to the big screen. Yes. What's that? It's Americana, and it's by Chimamanda Ngozi. Adichie, and uh, it's a Nigerian uh, novel, and it's about it's a it's a sweeping love story that spans three continents. Well, we can't I, wait for that, <laughs> and it's so good to see that beautiful face on the screen telling great stories. So great to have you here at GMA. I, I mean, Oscar, Lupita, <laughs> your smile lights up the room. Congratulations on all of your success. Thank you. Everybody, please check out Queen of Katwa. It's in theaters now.